Hey, it's great to be with you again today. The Eagles play the Bucks tonight, the Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Bucks with Tom Brady. Uh, right? He's just won so many Super Bowls. Right? So we're very excited about the Eagles game tonight. We are jacked up about it. We've been talking about it all day at work. You know, tomorrow uh, at work we'll be talking about the game again, whether they win or lose, hopefully, hopefully fingers crossed, right, that they win tonight. That we'll be talking about it because we'll be so excited. We love the Eagles. We believe in the Eagles. We think they're awesome or something right around that, right? And we're, we're looking forward to the game. So this is something that when you get excited about something, you tell people about it, you talk about it because you love it, right? And uh, on my way home today, I was listening to the CD uh, by Casting Crowns, and he's talking about, he's talking to a friend, and he, he says, you know, this friend is, is not doing well, right? And he says, you know, why have I never told him about Jesus before? Why have I never told him that Jesus loves him? You know, it's something that can change his life, and it's something that, as a man of faith, it's something that I believe in deeply. It, I love Jesus. So am I telling others about what Jesus has done for me, about the love that he's poured all over me, about how much he loves me and how he's changed my life, and how I've never been the same? So if I believe that and I love Jesus, am I telling my friends and my family about what Jesus has done for me? Am I telling them that Jesus loves them more than anything? That he loves each and every one of us more than he loved his own life? He laid down his own life and gave it so that we wouldn't have to pay for our sins. We are redeemed when we accept Jesus as the Messiah, as the Son of God, that we will be able to live forever, right? And as that happens, as we tell others about how he has changed our lives and our behavior and our attitude and all that has changed, we need to take a, a, a step back and say, am I telling those that I love about the one who loves me? If I can't stop talking about the Eagles and how much I love them in the game tonight, shouldn't I be telling them about Jesus even more because you see, Jesus is a game changer, right? Once we accept Jesus as our Savior, our lives are never the same. When we submit ourselves to Him, when we seek after God's will, when we run after Him and let Him pour His love all over us, and we want to be with Him, we change. Sometimes it's slowly, sometimes it's like that, but we start to change the instant we say that Jesus is who he says he is. Will we have the courage, will we have the boldness to tell others about what Jesus has done for each and every one of us and how he loves us? May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen. Go birds.